Hey, Chameleon.com here. Today we're going to be doing an overview for the best camping stove money can buy. It's the Coleman Triton, which is actually very similar to the classic Coleman propane stove, that green stove that everyone knows and loves. They've been making it pretty much since the 50s. This is an upgraded version of that. But before I go any further, there's going to be an Amazon link in the description below, as well as some other links that can help save you guys money on your next camping purchase. So to get straight into this, I'm going to open the Triton. I'm going to open this uh, griddle that actually fits directly in there. And you can close it shut with that griddle inside, which is actually part of the reason I like it over the classic green one. And then it's also got a carrying case, which has enough room for both of these one-pound uh, propane canisters. I'm actually going to touch on one-pound propane canisters, canisters in this video as well. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you guys a couple of articles, and then we're going to open this box. Also, be sure to check out chameleon.com too, guys, because we basically have every camping accessory known to man. We have everything from camp showers, stoves, survival gear, lights, ton of stuff. Thousands upon thousands of items. Backpacks, molly bags, Alice bags, carboneers, uh, multi-tools, you know, pretty much everything you can imagine we have it. But... You guys came here for this review, so let's do this thing. Um, before I actually open the box, though, I do want to show you a couple of uh, articles, just so you guys can see a couple of third-party things that, um, in addition to this. So this is from a great article on camping stoves, and they just did a bunch of stuff. They, they tested, like, 50, like, 15 different stoves, and you'll actually see that the Coleman Classic and the Coleman Triton are basically identical in their in their ability to cook stuff like boil water all that stuff they have a good low cooking time meaning if you're cooking stuff slowly on them they're very well suited for it and um there's just a couple of little things i want to show you before i open the box that are important um, and then I'll, I'll get back to that at the end on the problem with the one pounds. Um, there, there's no real issue with them. It's just an environmental like factor if you want to be environmentally friendly instead of recycling them. It's basically it. But you'll see that in a lot of these different forum posts, the Coleman Classic is always, there's Coleman Classic in this one. Here's Coleman Classic in this one. And if you scroll down a little bit further, the Triton pops up. It's actually better than the... Uh, the classic one, which is um, kind of weirded but why they put it there. But they're both great stoves. I recommend either one for the casual camper is what I'm getting at. And um, when I just type in camping stove on Amazon, you'll see that um, honorable mention is the Camp Chef. But, you know, Coleman Classic, 1,800 reviews, four and a half stars. And I'm not sure why it's not popping up now, but when I bought the... Uh, when I bought the Triton, it actually was an Amazon Choice stove. But you'll see, here's the Triton. It's Let me see if I can get rid of that annoying thing for you guys. Whatever. I'm just going to keep going. I'm not redoing this. They're basically the same. Four and a half stars on the Triton. And then uh, four and a half stars on the green classic Coleman one. There's a couple of subtle differences you'll find on them. Like the classic one, both of the burners are on one side. Whereas the Triton has them um, right in front of each burner. And this one apparently has a thousand more BTUs per um, stovetop, making 11,000 BTUs as opposed to 10,000, but it's they're pretty much identical. Um, the real only difference is this one happens to be 50 bucks new shipped and the Triton is $60 new shipped. And then they also have a Triton that's upgraded that has a start button. You can just press it and it, and it lights the ignition. But I, honestly, I like to have the ones with this because if the thing goes out in here, it's a pain and these are just way more reliable. They have a $1 starter. So I'm throwing out that tip for you guys right now. Um, I'd, go with, I'd go with the middle way and go with the Triton without the auto ignition. That's my personal opinion. You guys can do whatever you want. But this is the best camping stove for... Uh, like, if you're, if you're going out of your car, this is the best thing to go with. Or even in a survival situation. And then the last thing I want to touch on before I open this is, um, is propane a better fuel than an alcohol 
stove? And the general consensus is yes, and I will tell you why. So here's a guy in a boating forum. He says, so a 20 frown propane tank costs 20 to 30 refill, blah, 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 two to three gallons of denatured alcohol for a non-pressurized stove. So will $30 of alcohol cook as much as $30 of propane? The answer is alcohol has way less BTUs or thermal units per measure of fuel than propane. So alcohol is more expensive to buy than propane. There's no way alcohol makes it on a cost basis. If you're really spooked by the explosive nature of propane, then alcohol is a place. If you like to cook, then alcohol is next to worthless. So it, it really isn't that great of a cooking fuel as opposed to propane. And if you practice safe propane stuff, like checking for leaks with soapy water, then you're not going to really have too many problems. But be safe, be responsible with your propane. And that's all much. I, that's all I really wanted to um, talk about, really, for the most part. On uh, propane is more convenient of a fuel than alcohol. Okay, so I'm just throwing that out there. But let's get into this review and let's open this box because I know you guys want to see what's inside of here. All right, here we go. Now, with all that said, here is the Triton. All right, and let's do this unboxing. I'm going to go Triton, Griddle, and then I'm going to open this thing over here. Also, I have two uh, adapters, which I'll get to in a second, but... Let's go through the box, and then let's actually open this bad boy. So there's a large rugged latch, which actually I think is a little bit better than the um, classic stove, but we're not going to go into why. They're basically the same, but I'm just going to mention this stuff. It's got adjustable burners on each side. I said that before. It's got 22,000 BTUs. When I'm, I assume that's when, I'm, when both of these are on full blast. Um, it's easy to clean. It's heavy duty, or so they say which according to uh, four and a half stars, I wouldn't doubt that. Perfect heat technology, perfect flow technology. It's got a wind block panel, so your flame's not gonna go out. And what do we got here? It's certified, SA certified propane. It says it can fit a 12 inch and a 10 inch uh, saucepan back to back. High performance. Let's see what else we got here. All this is on the same, on the back and the front. Here are the uh, accessories, which we have. They're sold separately, but I highly recommend them. I love the fact that you can actually store this inside of here. I don't think you can do that with the with the uh, Coleman Classic, the green one, which is part of the reason I bought this. I wanted a self-contained unit. I didn't want to have to worry about having a bunch of pots and pans. I just wanted to have a griddle. Griddle right there, and I wanted to be able to fit in here. So... Uh, closes like that with the latch. It's got a removable chrome plated grate and it's an aluminized steel cooktop. So it's rust resistant, durable construction, durable, easy to clean construction because it's chrome plated as well. It's got independently adjustable burners. I'm glad I mentioned that because I wasn't sure if, um, you know, I know that sounds really weird, but I wasn't sure if you had this one on, if it's going to pop gas to the other one. So they are both independently, um, turned on and shut off, which is kind of nice. They probably have two separate lines in there. So let's not talk. Let's open this thing. I'm actually pretty excited for this because I've been waiting to do this review for a while for you guys because I wanted to have the, uh, I wanted to have a nice setup. If you're new to the channel, I like to have a nice setup with Amazon and, uh, I also didn't mention, I, there's other links in the description below if you want to cross-check pricing, but I like to have the actual ratings up, and I like to have a couple of uh, articles up too, because it's not just what I say, it's what other people say, and other people are saying that this and the Coleman Classic are basically the best casual stove you can buy. I'm destroying this box. Well, it's already destroyed, so I might as well go all in. There we go. Come on now. There we go. Nice. Whoops. Also on this channel, apparently we forget to get scissors sometimes, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, so this guy is brand spanking new. Hold on, I want to make sure you're getting the viewpoint here. All right, grab here. Let's 
uh, I'm actually going to flip this down. Loving this uh, phone mount. This chest phone. Like a go it's like a GoPro mount, but it's for your phone, actually. Um, and it makes recording this a lot easier because I don't have to hold the phone anymore. It's just on my chest. There's also another piece of foam in there, but I'm not really worried about it. Holding the other side. So there was foam here on here and foam here on here. So it's nicely packed for a propane stove. Whoop. Nicely packed for a propane stove. Right after I talk about the foam on, right? All right, so here's the deal. So let's get this. I want to keep it neat here so you guys can see what's going on. Bear with me. Beautiful presentation. I like the black. I really do. It's a nice color. Very nice color. Check that out. I wonder if these click. Okay. The latch, I will mention, is um, pure metal. It's a pure metal latch. I like that. It's got foam in here. Okay. Now I assume... Oh, here we go. So there's... Okay, I gotta make sure this phone's staying up. I, I'm gonna tighten this down a little bit. Pardon me, guys. Okay. So we're gonna put that right there. Alright, so this latch comes out here. This latch comes out right here. And I guess it goes into the side. So, oh, here's a little side port right here. Okay, and it pops right in there. Right there. Oh, wow. And it's adjustable. It's got these little, um, these little metal indents. Okay, let me zoom in on that a little bit. So it's adjustable, and they catch on the uh, on the little indentations. Let's grab that. Hold on one second. I'm doing that wrong. Probably should remove that before you do that, but whatever. Not a biggie. All right, so that's good. Uh, we got this. Crap, I might need scissors. You know what? Let me, um, I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors really quick in one, two, three. Okay, I got my scissors. So, let me pop this really quick. This is the adapter. I assume this goes on the side. This is for the one pound propane tanks. And there's some warnings on here to avoid... Oh, there's one more little thing. We're doing a full review on this. I'm like, I'm reading the whole thing, man. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep this bag away. Okay, suffocation warning for babies. Puppies and all that. Okay, so this goes here. And we got this little instruction manual. I also noticed that the Triton has the Coleman logo on these. So these are different burner heads than the uh, traditional classic. This is quite a manual right here, my gosh. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to uh, do a qu uh, quick flip through. So if you guys ever want to pause this and look at this thing, you can. All right. And then I'm actually going to read through it. Or maybe I'll just do both simultaneously. See if this folds out or not. I don't know if I'm going to read through this whole thing. But I am, I am going to read through how to put that on really quick. Because I do want to use this. Um, let me do a flip through in case people are looking for the manual. So here's page one, page two and three, you guys. Right. Just wanna make sure the pages are in focus so you can pause it on YouTube if you ever need to uh, see this. Some carbon monoxide hazard warnings, how to put in the pot, how to open the lid, position wind guards, install pot support as shown, uh, how to install the propane cylinder correctly, standard ignition stove, stuff uh electronic ignition stove so this is a dual manual if you have one with the uh stove thing how to clean it disconnect the propane turn it off and then here's the parts list grill sold separately of course all right so let's do this let's let's um let's get this propane thing securely on there and let's see how these are shut on and shut off. Let's see this really quick. Don't put an arrow on these, huh? That's kind of weak. Oh, 
Oh, I see how that works. Okay. So the way it works, I believe... Let me let me not say that until this is actually done. Hold on. Let me put in this uh, propane thing. By the way, guys, if you ever want to fast forward to another part, always feel free to do so. But I am... I got to build this thing really quick, so let me figure out how this is going to do. To set up, remove components from carton. Um, this is already done. I mean, this is already in place, so that's kind of... Open lid. We did that. Position wind guards is figured. Position wind guard, position winds guard is figured. Or is desired, my bad. Position wind guards as desired. Install pot support is shown. It's already on. Okay. Place griddle on top. Close both burner valves firmly. Okay, so to close the burner valve, according to this, is you want to put this this guy all the way. Okay, so clockwise is closed. Clockwise is closed on both. So that's okay. And then counterclockwise. So left, left is open. Right right is closed. So you want to make sure these are closed, so they're very tightly closed. Um, push the screw... Here we go. That's where I want to get here. Push and screw regulator into stove, hand tight. Okay, so I assume that's on the right side of this thing. Oh, here it is. Okay. But there's a way that it needs to be positioned. It needs to be positioned like this. Remove plastic cap from the bot. Okay, oh, I already know that. Push and screw regulator on the stove hand tight. Okay. Oh, well, it's a... It's a standalone thing. You don't have to... This is a good idea because it's a gas line. Um, let me see how this would lay. I assume it's like this. Where the propane is going like that and it's sitting on it. Yeah, that seems about right. So you screw this in. It says hand tight, according to the manual. So you pop that in. Very easy. That was like, it took like two seconds. And you'll see that this, this line is actually free moving, which is a really good idea considering it's a gas line. If you bump into it or knock it, it's not going to mess with this uh, thing. It says hand tight, but I, I want to go as tight as I can on my hand. And the next step is pop in the propane bottle, I assume. And uh, try to light the burners. But before you do that, you want to make sure they are absolutely closed off. But let me uh, let me get that going really, really quick here. All right, so we have a one-pound handy-dandy propane bottle right here. And this is a fire hazard and a carbon monoxide hazard, so always take care when using propane, guys. And I think this is, yep, made in the USA. At least that's... Use only with appliances designed for propane gas. We can follow important safety instructions before use. Check cylinder and torch seals. Never use with the damage or missing seals. Dirt or in the blah, blah, blah. Turn off torch. Hold cylinder upright while attaching torch. Okay. Attach cylinder outdoors away from pilot lights, flames, sparks. Blah, blah, blah. Hand tighten only. Never use tools to tighten. Over tightening can damage seals. Now that's actually why I got the soapy water here. For number six, check for leaks. Put soapy water on connections. Look for bubbles. Listen for hiss or escaping gas. Feel for extreme cold. Smell for rotten egg odor. And according to uh, the National Propane Association, I think propane is actually a. It's a. Uh, Odorless gas, and man actually puts the odor inside of the propane. Read and follow torch instructions. Okay, so it may not seem this way, but this little plastic cap comes off. You just got to give it a little bit of uh, elbow grease, and it will come off. Okay, here's how it looks. Doesn't appear to be any dirt or grime, so you're good to go. So I'm going to pop this into place onto this guy right here. And it says hand tight, so let's do this thing. Also, this is closed, and this is closed. I thought this was a screw, but this is just a, uh, 
All right, that's hand tight. So now, this is set up, I believe. So now we're gonna take our um, soapy water right here. We're gonna check these connections. Not seeing any uh, leaks or hearing a hiss, so I think we're good to go. Now, I'm gonna test this thing. Let's take a look here, open this up. Oh, you hear that? Listen. So that goes, and I think this one opens independently too. That's sweet. That's a pretty good, that's a nice stove, man. So I can open this one. Whoa, holy crap. Wow, that is. Dude, even on low, that thing is. I'm trying to put it on ultra low. So you can see on low low, it's got a. Uh... All right, that that was it. Okay, so you'll see a blue flame here. We got a blue flame right here. I can see the gas and the... Uh... Also, just to be safe, I'm gonna pop a window really quick. And I'm also gonna put a pot of water on here while I'm doing the other reviews. Okay, got that figured out. Got my uh, water here to boil. But I, want, I didn't show you this before I grab my water. When you do this, and that's a low, dude, check out, the, that's, a, that's a low, that's like a medium flame. Very, um, very um, sensitive control. It's only up to, like, it says all the way down to there to full, but like, like that, that's actually full, um, that's actually full blast, like right here. So... Just saying, it's very, it's very sensitive control. You see how quickly I go from that to full blast, because that that's just that's just loosening the uh, actual thing. So I, I thought I would mention that the knobs are plastic. Also thought I would mention that. I don't think it really makes a big difference. The flames all the way over here. It's not like the things are going to melt. Plus, it's got like an inch of uh, a few, uh, not like an inch, but like it's got some clearance right there. So let me put this water on here. So while I'm talking, that can boil. And um, what was I going to do next? Oh, also, I didn't mention this little carbon monoxide warning right here. Um, little pamphlet. I think it's meant to be on there always just to warn people. But I don't know how I feel about a piece of paper being right there next to a flame. So I'm probably going to take that off. Just thought I'd mention that. Also, here's one other thing I want to mention. If you want to run... Uh, bigger propane tanks on your stove, then I would recommend getting a propane hose. This one ha also happens to be Coleman. I mean, what better brand to buy it? It's actually the manufacturer of the stove itself. And it's got this red cap, and it's got a one-pound propane adapter right here. But they also sell ones. You, you can't actually use this with a big tank because you see how it's got that little um, nipple for the for the um, one pound tank. This thing, what it does, the bulk adapter, you see how it plugs in? It goes on top of the nipple and then it can go into a bigger tank adapter because the one pound tanks actually have different adapters than the um, large tanks. So I thought I would mention that if you want to run a hose or you want to have, you, you want to run this and your one pound tanks below, you can do that too if you don't want to have the tank right next to the stove. Probably not a bad idea actually because it gives you some distance between the stove and the actual tank. I really don't think it makes that big of a difference um, safety-wise. Don't quote me on that, but I'm just saying that you get eight feet of distance between you and the actual um, stove itself. I like that they have these little, these little cloth tie-downs on this, um, this eight-footer. makes it a lot easier to uh, keep it organized too so or you can use plastic ones like zip ties but look at that they got all that this isn't even all the way extended it's got a huge 
eight foot range. I like that. Look at that. Jeez, that's a that's a lot of uh, a lot of slack. So I thought I'd mention that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna undo it, but you get the idea. You you know, vault A socket B, and you put it in. So this is going pretty quick. Um, I got a good amount of water in there. I'm gonna make some herbal tea. But while I'm doing that, I also wanted to mention this, the Triton stove. So, the Triton has the ability to use this stove, which is sold separately. I'm, I shouldn't say stove, griddle. The Triton stove has the ability to put this griddle inside of the stove. So what you can do, and also I'm going to read off the, uh, it's 145 square inches or 935 square centimeters. It's easy clean. It fits Coleman Triton stoves. It stores inside the stove, so that so you can literally clamp this down, and this stores right inside. I love that. And it's a full size griddle. And what else do we got here? Nonstick aluminum construction, which is good, and it fits right in. So let's just pop this thing open. I'll show you what it looks like. While well, my water's boiling there, I think that's on about medium heat. That's low. Yeah, it's about medium, and then that's whoa. Okay, watch. This. Look at look at between low and medium. Now they actually have something on there. Watch this. So here's that's low. Here's high. <laughs> my God, that's crazy. It's even more. Uh, that's almost more powerful than my home stove, man. That's that's pretty impressive. Peter, wow. Okay. Did I nick myself on the paper? I got a little bit of paper cut right there. But that's okay. All part of the adventure, my friend. Alright, so... Is there anything else in here? Uh, they have a little number right here. I guess, I think that's a serial number? Man, they must manufacture a lot of these things, my gosh. Or is that like a date it was made? I don't know. Don't matter. Don't matter. So here's the stove. Griddle, I should say. That's a stove. And, oh wow, this thing's actually pretty, uh... I wasn't expecting that. This thing's pretty heavy duty, man. I thought this would just be like a flat little griddle. It's got some, uh... This thing's got, like, some, uh... This thing feels like it's got some... Some strength to it, you know? It's like, you see these folds and stuff? I thought this would just be like a, like a little, uh... Like, griddle that you put on your, uh... Stove at home. This thing's got some weight to it. Anyway, note to prevent damage, which will avoid the warranty. I guess the thing has a warranty. Do not use pots, pans, oven. Do not use pots, pans, ovens, etc. Okay. On this grill or griddle surface. Do not stack a grill or griddle together on the same burner. Okay. Do not use this grill or griddle on a campfire other or other open fire. Use this grill or griddle only with a Coleman stove for which it was designed, which would be the Triton right here. I want to, I want to understand that. Do not use pots, pans, ovens, etc. on this grill or griddle surface. So I guess that means don't put like a... Uh, I, I guess what they're trying to do is don't scratch it. Probably. Anyway, let me, um, let me actually take off the water for just a second so I can put this on and show you guys. Well, that's off, so it really doesn't even matter. Okay, so let me pop this on. Actually, let me take this off. <laughs> Cooking paper. Yeah. Cook that paper. Also, you might want to wipe the... I, I don't feel any um, residue, but you might want to just, like, rinse it off. You know, you don't want to be... I'm just showing you this for demonstration purposes. And I assume this is forward. Does it have a little... It doesn't really show on the uh, thing, but I'm about to find that out. We'll see. Yeah, I'm about to find that. Let's, let's take a look here. It's probably very hot. I gotta be careful on the stove. Okay, so that fits right in. It doesn't. It's got a nice grip. I guess it. I, I guess these kind of catch a little bit. These catch on the stove. I'm gonna try going the other way. See if that works. No, I don't think so. Let's take a look. Nope. Gotta be careful. I'm not wearing a glove. I just have to be very careful. Um, okay, that, so that just goes like that. And then let me see how this closes on top. Really quick. 
trying to do this with the propane in a second. I might pop that out really quick if I can't do it. Being very gentle. It's still connected. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, that, oh, that's nice. This whole thing, this whole thing just slides all the way back. You can just go like that. Ooh. Okay. Okay, it says it stores in here, but it's not... I'm sure it does somehow. Okay, so that was a hoot and a half. I figured it out. Uh, Coleman, in their infinite wisdom, decided to make this photo and says store inside it stores inside the stove when it's looks like you're just you just put it on top of the grill. What you really need to do is you need to take off this, okay? And this turned upside down actually fits perfectly inside of here where the holes for the um I guess you would call it the grill just fit right into these circular notches. Now with that, you can take this you can go right on top, and then this snaps shut. Voila. Pretty easy stuff. Okay, so that is the Triton grill and that. Now I'm also going to get into this small stove carrying case. It's pretty awesome. It's heavy duty. It's easy carry, which makes it even easier to carry because now you can put these two propane bottles inside of this thing and you basically have a self-contained unit to cook. You have, you have a grill, you have a griddle, and you got two one pound propane things. So let's open this. It's got two drawstring propane pouches, easily carry extra fuel, fuel propane sold separately of course, PVC coated polyester construction, rugged protection for your stove. It's got a durable zipper. I'm not sure if that's a YKK, but I'll check. It's got a strong, comfortable web handle. Easier carrying and extra portability. So let me pop this open really quick. Same thing on the side. It says the same thing pretty much on the side. Uh, that's pretty much it. It protects your stove. Okay, so let's pop this open. What we got here. Okay. So, this thing... Kind of nice, actually. Ooh. Very fancy. Very, very fancy. Cool. Okay, so, before you pop your stove in, you're going to want to disconnect your propane cylinder. Do that really quick. And I wonder if this um, if this fits into here. I don't know how I feel about putting this stove into this bag with the um, propane line attached. So I think you should actually apply that every time. It takes, I mean, that literally takes three seconds to put off and on. And... You know, for the trouble you're going to have for bending this thing or, I don't know, knocking it into something, just take this off, guys. Just throwing that out there. Okay, so now, with the griddle, with the griddle inside, the grill can now go into this case. And I'm putting it Triton logo facing up. Let me see how it goes. This thing's sweet. Well, Coleman really cornered the market on this. My gosh, they make the case, they make the grill, they make everything. They make they even make the fuel for gosh sake. They have everything here. And then also, um, I don't know how I feel about this thing being on here, so I'm just gonna tear it off. Well, it's got a grommet on there, but I'm gonna take that off eventually. It should, all it is is a carbon monoxide warning, but it does fit in there with that, so it's not a big of a deal. Let me grab that. It's a snug fit for sure, but I haven't wiggled this thing all the way in yet and it's actually overlapping on two sides make sure this thing isn't zoomed in stand up so you guys can see what's going on okay so it fits in here it goes like that and then that should zip right here i wonder if this is a ykk it's uh 
It's a blank zipper, but it says it's heavy duty. Grab that. Snug fit is an understatement, though. This thing's very, very, very snug. You gotta get it at just the right angle for this thing to uh, zip up. Make sure that's in there all the way. Also, I also want to make sure this is in here too, because that's, that's real world. I'm going to lay that on top of the actual stove. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it's not too bad. Very snug fit, though. They could have given it another... Honestly, they could have given that another inch or two, my God. But it does the job. It carries it. And then this cylinder goes in here. See, that's easy. And then this cylinder goes in there. And then I have my plastic cap right here. So I can store that properly. Um, I'm going to pop these right here. It's pretty sweet. If this thing will pop open. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second here. What is going on? There we go. And then this got a drawstring. That's got a drawstring. That's pretty sweet. Wow. Well, that's the full review, guys. Um, didn't finish my tea, but it boils water. It does what it needs to do. Um, I would also suggest getting these. Let me just put everything back to back so you guys can see it all. All right, guys, that is the full review. It's pretty impressive that the stove, the griddle, and this bag, it's only about maybe mm, two feet long with two things on there, roughly, 18 inches, two feet. Um, I recommend getting this hose. I recommend getting the bulk adapter just in case you want to hook that thing up to a uh, five-pound tank or whatever you're into. Uh, I like the carrying case. A little tight on the grill, but you know what? For uh, keeping it nice and snug in there and not really moving around a lot. I guess they had to do it that way. And uh, amazing stove, highly recommended propane over alcohol any day of the week. Coleman Triton, Coleman Classic, best camping stove I can find, period. Links in the description below. And, and that's basically it. Check out chameleon.com for other camping stuff. And on that note, chameleon.com is out. Peace.